Does your mouse ever feel just a little behind your hand? Or maybe your aim feels floaty, like the screen is always one step behind your brain? That's not always your reflexes. A big chunk of that delay comes from your GPU driver's frame queue. By default, both NVIDIA and AMD drivers buffer extra frames in advance to keep things smooth. The problem is, those extra frames sit in a waiting line, and every frame in that line adds latency. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock hidden driver settings in Windows that control how many frames your GPU queues and how to force true ultra-low latency mode so your inputs get to your screen faster than ever before. This isn't just about flipping low latency mode to ultra in NVIDIA Control Panel. We're going deeper into registry edits, driver overrides, and hidden scheduling tweaks that the control panels don't expose. Stick around to the end because I'll also show you how to test if your changes are really working. Let's dive in. Step one, understand and test your current latency. Before we change anything, we need to see what your GPU is doing right now. By default, NVIDIA uses maximum pre-rendered frames equal three, up to three frames queued. AMD uses flip queue size three to five, depending on the driver in game. That's already up to 50 milliseconds of lag at 60 FPS before your frame even shows. At higher refresh rates, it's still several milliseconds you can shave off. Here's how to test it. Download CapFrame X free FPS analysis tool. In the settings, enable input lag and frame latency overlay. Run your favorite game in full screen with VSync off. Watch your render latency and driver queue stats. This gives you a baseline of how many frames are being buffered right now. If you see spikes above two frames queued, that's input lag waiting to be eliminated. Step two, NVIDIA Hidden Frame Queue Registry Fix. Now that you have a baseline for your latency, it's time to take action, starting with NVIDIA users. While the low latency mode option in the NVIDIA control panel seems like a quick fix, it only scratches the surface. You can actually take it further by diving into the registry and forcing hidden driver flags that override the queue depth on a per game or global basis. This means you can control it far more precisely. Here's how to do it. Press Win plus R to bring up the Run dialog. Type in RegEdit and hit Enter. In the Registry Editor, navigate to the following location. If the FTS key doesn't already exist, you'll need to create it manually. To do this, right-click on the Services folder and choose New, then Key. Name the new key FTS. Once inside the FTS key, right-click and create a new D-Word 32-bit value. Name it Enable Frame Q. Now, set the value of Enable Frame Q depending on how you want to adjust the latency. Zero, this disables the driver's Q entirely, giving you the lowest possible latency. The downside is that the GPU might experience some stuttering or hitching if it's overloaded, since it won't Q frames in advance. One, this is the default setting for NVIDIA, where it queues up to three frames. This is the setting you'd get if you just enabled low latency mode through the control panel. Two, this is adaptive mode, where NVIDIA dynamically adjusts the queue depth based on the game and system conditions. It's a more balanced approach, but still adds some latency compared to turning the queue off. Once you've set the value, restart your PC to apply the changes. With enable frame queue equals zero, you're effectively forcing true ultra-low latency mode globally. NVIDIA control panel can only apply it per profile, but this registry hack applies it everywhere. Step three, AMD flip queue registry fix. For AMD users, there's a similar mechanism that controls input latency called flip queue size. This setting determines how many frames the driver will buffer before sending them to your monitor. By default, this can add a little extra input lag, which is something you might want to adjust if you're chasing those low latency numbers. Here's how to tweak it. Open Registry Editor again, press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and hit Enter. Navigate to this path. Once you're inside, you'll see a bunch of folders with GUID names like four zeros. You need to find the one that corresponds to your AMD GPU. 
Look for the following entries inside these folders. Flip queue size. If flip queue size isn't already there, you'll need to create it yourself. Right click, choose new Dwart value 32 bit and name it flip queue size. Now adjust the value based on your preferences. Value zero. This forces no frame queue at all, providing the lowest input latency. This means the GPU won't buffer frames, so the input feels instant. However, it may occasionally cause stuttering if the GPU can't keep up. Value one. This queues one frame, which is still very low latency, but gives the GPU a bit more breathing room. This can help smooth things out while keeping the input response sharp. Value two or higher. This is the default AMD behavior, which queues up to five frames. This provides more time for the GPU to smooth out the frame delivery, but it comes at the cost of additional input lag. Once you've set the value, restart your PC for the changes to take effect. Many competitive gamers keep this at zero or one, which reduces the driver's ability to smooth frames, but makes input feel razor sharp. Step four, override Windows graphics scheduling. Hidden timer fix. Even after tweaking the NVIDIA or AMD settings, Windows itself still introduces some latency through how it schedules and presents frames. By default, Windows prioritizes smoothness over low latency, but we can change that to favor responsiveness instead. To adjust this, we'll modify a setting in the registry that controls Hardware Graphics Scheduling, or HAGS, which can either add or reduce latency depending on how it's set up. Here's how to make the change. Open Registry Editor again, press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and hit Enter. Navigate to this path. Look for a Dwart value called HWSCH Mode. If it doesn't exist, you'll need to create it. Right-click in the Graphics Drivers folder, select New, D-Word, 32-bit, Value. Name it HWSCH mode. Set the value to one of the following. 2. This enables Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or HAGS, which allows the GPU to take on more responsibility for scheduling and reduces the time spent in the CPU's graphics scheduler. This can reduce latency and make the frame delivery process more direct. 1. This forces legacy scheduling which uses the older scheduling system and typically adds more buffering, resulting in higher latency. Once you've set HAGS to your preference, restart your PC for the changes to take effect. HAGS is controversial, but when paired with low-frame queue settings, it forces Windows to bypass some of its buffering and push frames more directly to the GPU. Many users see reduced driver latency spikes in latency mon after enabling this. Step 5. Tune and validate in NVIDIA Profile Inspector or Radeon Tweaker. Finally, let's add an extra layer of control using community tools. For NVIDIA, download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Search for your game profile. Under Frame Queue or Low Latency, set Maximum Pre-Rendered Frames equal to 1 and Low Latency Mode to Ultra. For AMD, use Radeon Mod or Radeon Pro Tweaker. Check that Flip Queue Size Registry value is reflected. Optionally, disable Chill and Frame Pacing features if you're chasing absolute lowest input lag. After applying these, go back into Cap Frame X or RTSS Frame Latency Overlay and test again. You should see your driver queue length drop significantly ideally to zero to one frames max. And that's it. You've just unlocked the hidden GPU frame queue controls that GPU drivers don't want you touching. This goes beyond just ticking ultra low latency in a settings menu. You now have registry level overrides that cut down the driver's hidden buffering, making your inputs land on screen faster than ever. If your mouse feels tighter, aiming feels more connected, and those micro delays vanish? Drop a comment and let me know your results. Smash that like button if this helped you. And of course, subscribe if you want more next level optimization guides just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.